This video is brought to you by Pop Mart, an industry-leading pop culture and art toy company with the goal to light up passion and bring joy to the toy industry. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you liked the fun little intro. I went to DesignerCon this weekend. Thanks to Pop Mart, I was able to attend with a VIP pass and go and check out all the fun stuff there. DesignerCon is a convention in Anaheim every year that is dedicated to toy makers, toy collectors, and artists. People who share a love for art, design, and collecting are all here having a fun good time just selling their merchandise. And I for one was very excited, so I invited my friend Leslie at Tiki Room on Instagram, and I even brought my mom along for the ride, so this is gonna be a fun one. <laughs> this is going to be a vlog of everything I saw while I was there, as well as a tour of the Pop Mart booth since they invited me. Once we were in, I headed straight for the Pop Mart booth. It's kind of right there as you enter. This was 9 a.m. Saturday morning. There wasn't a lot of people there yet, so it was a great time to kind of explore and look around. And it looks like we made it. Here is the Pop Mart booth. It looks really good this year. I absolutely loved all of the lights that they had going on around here, as well as the statues of the characters. Luckily, there wasn't a long line, so we just walked right in. I really love how they display all of their series. I know this is what their store displays look like, so it's really cool to see what it looks like here at the convention center. But I couldn't get over the lighting in this booth. It was very pretty. There was a lot of holographic stuff, which was really nice. Sweet Bean had a couple new series that I was very devastated I didn't get. They had the convenience store one and the supermarket series, which, man, I really should have picked up at least one of them. <laughs> it looks like little mints, like a, they do at weddings mm -hmm. or baby showers. Oh, this one's like bedazzled. I really enjoy the vast collection of figures Pop Mart has, and this is because they get different artists to design every different series. And because of that, they just have such a huge collection. Like, you're bound to find something that you really like. They're also really accessible. I've heard that they're even in vending machines now, which is really cool. After we looked around, we went up and I was gifted a little bag here. I was then taken around to go look at some of the Decon exclusives and some of the collaborations they had coming up. It's by that Keith guy. Who the hell is Keith? The guy from the Try Guys. I was then shown different sizes of Space Molly. These were their mega ones and then they had some very large ones out here that were all up for purchase. And this was a designer con exclusive, which was the SpongeBob version of Space Molly. I actually really like Space Molly. I like her little outfit. <laughs> It's so hardcore right now. Then we went to look around at some of their other characters that are also in this very large scale. <laughs> After that, I picked up a couple blind boxes for myself and some for my sisters, and then we headed out. ended up at the speculative fiction booth. Here they had a lot of collectible figures out and I really really enjoyed these. I have never heard of these guys before but these figures were quite the eye candy. I have a thing with bases. I'm not a big fan of when they're super plain but I also don't like when there's too much on them and I find them to be kind of distracting sometimes but these were like the perfect medium where it really enhanced the figures a lot and I just loved how these looked. Big Mac, chicken nuggets. This one's limited edition, right? You gotta have your friends. Yeah. So you gotta have your friends oh, stay wow. with you. See how they put Harley Quinn in the back? This is misogyny. <laughs> oh shit, is that a corgi? It's a corgi. <laughs> While me and Leslie were looking around the booths, we ran into Zard Apuya, who is one of my favorite artists. If you know me, you know that I love food memorabilia. I have an entire food section dedicated in my room, so when I saw his work, I knew I had to get something. It was so hard to pick one thing. Look at how 
cute all of these are. I absolutely adore his work. The thing I really love about DesignerCon is how much you can just directly support artists. It's very heavily driven by artists and I love seeing everyone's work out on display. And some of these booths are just insanely creative. <laughs> Oh my god, what? Oh my god. It's just, look, it looks like a little convenience store. It does. Ah, Toy Cube, the most dangerous thing to my wallet. Fun fact, the guy at the booth told me that this was a one-to-one -one Astro Boy scale figure, so this is how big he would be if he was real. I love the donut one. Holy They're crap. So cute. God, look at him in his pink fit. So I've been trying to put all the booth names in the corner of this video, but I honestly God have no idea which booth this was. I forgot to take a card, which sucks because look at all these cool toys they have. <laughs> I really enjoyed this giant Charlie Brown head and the Edward Scissorhands doll. When I saw this booth, I literally ran to it. <laughs> I absolutely love these. Ab insane. I ended up getting a burger bill because of course I got something. Um, I would like to get a Slurpee Steve at some point though because he was looking really good too. <laughs> And just as a reminder, I've been putting all of the artist's handles here in the corner, so if you like any of their work and you want to support them, go check them out and go go support their artwork. <laughs> I normally do my own resin, but that was pretty crazy. That, that had to be done by a company, uh, Ghost Rabbit Society. And, uh, and he rotocasted that for us. But it was so great. And then uh, they're all hand painted. I've only been to DesignerCon twice, but this year was really fun. I liked it both times, and as an artist, I really enjoy looking at other artists show their passion in their work. Oh, Mickey, you don't look too good. <laughs> and they say all women are the same. And they're right. Most of the dumpster fire people. Dumpster fire yeah, people. Yeah, they, they make little dumpster fires. <laughs> what? I wasn't insulting them, I swear. <laughs> Jet Set Radio. Radio. So we then stopped by the Underverse booth. Ashley Wood's work is just <laughs> insane. I can't praise it enough, but what I really, really enjoy are these art dolls. There is so much detail on these dolls, from things like their pockets to their weapons, all sorts of things. It's just absolutely gorgeous to look at. This display was also really cool. I saw this guy specifically and based my entire outfit for Saturday on it, <laughs> just because I liked it so much. Ah, ooh, check it out. Now 
that you're feeling real tipsy Now let me take you on a trip and roll with me With the brothers get their party on every day Because we got to do My impulse control was weakened and my defenses were down So of course I purchased a figure Thank you like grave and yeah, bump the stuff in your trunk every day and let them big muscles know that we don't play. Hey, it's the phone coming through, hitting you every single day. Uh, these two boots right next to each other. Look at this. on like you can see a gap right there it's a little it's enough that we're like well yeah, just put it on discount. a crazy sale so much is that an actual tamagotchi or just a watch it's a watch can i check it out yeah oh, it's sick. it's just a watch yeah <laughs> We finally made it to the Tokidoki booth. Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! Tokidoki and Kid Robot were like two of my favorite toy brands as a kid. I was especially fond of Mozzarella. Like, I drew her at a chalk festival when I was like 10. I have a couple of their toys, but I'm specifically nostalgic for the Mufia and also the eyeshadow palettes they did a while back. And despite all the cool things I saw during DesignerCon, literally the best thing to happen was meeting some of you guys. Some people had stopped by to say hi, some people had met up with me, it was just amazing. I literally couldn't believe it. I'm not kidding, the support means like the world to me, so it was so nice to meet some of you guys in person and talk to you guys. I'm not even kidding when I say it made my day, like seriously, everyone who came to say hi, you were in a special place in my heart, it meant the world. Here I spun the wheel of mythicality and won ramen, Indonesian ramen. You'd be surprised how much free food I got at this event. They're holding panels right out in the open here. Oh, they're recording. So after two days of roaming around, I got pretty tired. So around day two, around like five-ish, I decided to go home. But I had like such a fun time. And honestly, this was just such a great experience. I'm forever grateful for Pop Mart for sending me out here again. Like it's always so fun to catch up and see what other content creators and just toy makers and artists alike are doing. I mean, it would have been perfect if I met Jonan Vasquez. I found out he went on Saturday and I didn't meet him. It's okay, it's fine. It was almost perfect. It just would have been great if I did, if I met him. Regardless, I grabbed my things and me and Butters headed home. And of course this video wouldn't be complete until I showed you guys my haul. I'm starting off with the gift Pop Mart gave me when I went. Inside were a couple of blind boxes, which I'm going to open two of them here and two of them I'm saving for Christmas. 
And then there was this cup, which I was absolutely ecstatic to get. I really like practical items, so I was so happy that I got a Skull Panda cup. And it's a really nice cup. It's got like this nice pretty iridescence to it. It's got the logo on there. It just looks so beautiful. It's like it's made of ice. And here are the blind boxes I got for myself. I got three of them, so I will be opening them right now and we'll see what I got. <laughs> Okay, so the next thing I got, I mentioned before, I got a burger bill from the Disgust and Justin. I was very excited to get this because I wanted to put it near my tiny McDonald's. And he even gave me free stickers. I then bought this crab pen holder. I didn't get any footage of his booth, but it looked really funny because he just had an army of crabs around him. I put his Twitter in the corner if you want to check out some more crab holding shenanigans. But he's perfect. I'm using him to hold my digital art pen. So I mentioned earlier that I was getting a Zard Apuya piece, so here's the one I got. It was incredibly hard to choose, but at the end of the day, I really, really liked this one. I felt like it would look really good in my room. It's the Pokemon X Mr. Donut collaboration, and I also picked up some stickers while I was there. So my next find was probably the biggest score of the day. I was able to get four first wave Monster High dolls for $20 each. I didn't get any footage of her booth, unfortunately. My camera had died, but I'm going to tell you right now, go follow Dollytron. She's the woman who sold me this, but she's also an artist who sells her own work. She had a booth up there and she was selling some of her old Monster High collection, and I am forever grateful that she sold them to me for such an amazing price. If you know anything about the Monster High community, it's really hard to find these dolls and it's really hard to get them for a good price and it makes it really inaccessible for people. <laughs> I ended up getting two of them for my sister and two of them for me, so I'm incredibly grateful to her. So this is what I got at the Underverse booth <laughs> when I bought something. It is Bumblebee Boy. I have no regrets. This might be the coolest thing I've ever bought. I think I bought a lot of dolls this time around. I don't know if he counts as a doll. I've been calling it a doll because it's poseable and it wears real clothes, but I know it's like an art toy, but still, it, it's still in the doll ballpark. My favorite part about this is that he looks so good with my Remet miniature. Like, look at this and tell me it doesn't match so perfectly. <laughs> The posability with this guy is also just incredibly fun. I feel like I can do this for hours and just put him in cute little poses. So there's everything I got. I did also get a sticker from the Monster Party booth, so that's also there. And I got two Hello Kitty 7-Eleven magnets that I already put up in my room. But yeah, there's everything. If you stayed this long, thank you for watching the video. Um, huge thank you to Pop Mart for sending me out to DesignerCon this year. I had such an amazing time. If you want to see more of my content, please subscribe, please like. Also, check out my Instagram. I am an artist as well, so if you want to support my work, you can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter and TikTok as well. Well, it looks like that's all it from me. All right, cue my totally awesome new outro. Yeah,